Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another season of Oz Fortress. This is, of course, Prem, and it's week one. We got Nefarious versus Role Players 3, and I am joined by Ghost here on Capping TV. Ghost, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing fine, Dreamboat. How are you today in Canada? I am very good. This is actually my second time going live for Capping TV in this sleep cycle. Uh, casted Counter Strike earlier today, so it's That's great nice. to be here. Great to be back on Capping TV, and even better to be back in Team Fortress Two. It has been too long, my friend, since I managed to cast a Team Fortress Two game. Indeed. Um. So I think we're just waiting for the players to get ready and stuff. But I think I'm gonna go run through some rosters now because I do have a roster for oh, yeah, I should probably start explaining the teams. Yeah the teams versing today are Nefarious Nefarious probably butchered that name taking on Raw Players 3 and the maps we'll be seeing will be Process and Snake Water. Um regarding rosters for Nefarious we do have a full roster being Combo Scout Ben, Flank Scout Spade, Roma Shifter, a roster change being Rising Pocket, Moop Demo and Arnold Medic. However, we might see a Rocky Subin if he does come back, obviously. And for the other side, I do not have a full roster because I think theirs is just show up and play. But from what I can tell on the server, looks like Scandal and Vanquish Scout, Ray's Demo, Mirumu Med, John Pocket, and whoever Boy is. I mean, Boy and John Sollies. I don't know if they're Pocket Aroma, but those are your lineups for tonight, Dreamboat. Yeah, and it should be an absolute doozy of a game. Definitely some reputable names in this server. I'm curious to see which one will get the W. John has readied his team up, so we are just waiting for the boys in blue to ready up. And we should be getting live here shortly under our first map. We should probably start predictions, Dreamboat. What are your predictions for this one regarding who will take the maps, Process and Snake? Uh, let's go... Let's just focus on process for now. And I gotta say that Moop and the boys are gonna take it. Let's go with a 4-2 scoreline. I'm gonna yeah, I agree with you, Nefarious, because I think Raw Players is like a meme team. Not really a meme team, but like, most of their players haven't played in a while. Vanquish, for example, only plays this game every now and then. But otherwise, yeah, I'm just gonna go with Nefarious and score-wise. I'm going to go with a maybe 7-2 scoreline, but otherwise Damn. that is my prediction. And I'm not sure if we're starting soon, we're just waiting on for Arnold's team to ready up. Um, John's team has readied, so we're just waiting on the blue. Green Listen, boat. sometimes you just got to sit back and, and almost tilt them, you know? Why aren't you guys ready? You guys are all here. You're all DMing. Everybody's playing. Why aren't you ready? Why aren't you ready? Why aren't you ready? Why aren't yeah. you ready? Sometimes you just sit there and players will get really mad. I played on a, uh, I actually played on a TF2 team. Hmm. And they got so mad actually... because we'd always refuse to ready up uh, until like the very ending. So maybe I that's just what they were doing. Confirm right now. We have actually started now. We have gone live. This is the first mid fight for Oz Fortress Season 23 Prem Week 1. Nefarious taking on Roleplays V3 and Dreamboat. Take us through this mid. All right. Well, we have Moob getting a lot of great damage there. Raises so very hurt right off the bat of this mid fight. But he is going to be arrowed up, followed through. Shifted trying to capitalize on that one. Just not able to do so right now as these two teams start to yeah. cross this point. Rays will finally go down. He has the first pick. John in a lot of trouble as well, but it's going to be Boy to find the follow-up pick onto Rising. However, the remaining players are going to start to fall away. John has been cleaned up, and that was a very clean mid. Yeah, nice very, start. very quick. The, the once that damage was obviously done, Blue just simply pushed forward and forced Red out, out of mid. Um, one thing for sure is obviously both meds did survive, so Ubers will be even here. As we see Nefaris taking second point and most likely, I'm assuming we'll hold for now. Alright. We'll hold for now, or I think they might attempt to push lobby maybe by looks of things. Not quite certain yet, and we could be seeing a push here. And Spade does go down to progress, but does trade with Boy. And I think, yeah, this will hold the push for Nef Nefarious. And looks like we're just going to be seeing a classic stalemate, Dreamboat. 
Yeah, it was a good effort there by Spade to try and give her a pick, but unfortunately with him falling, Nefarious need to slow down. Be coming back up here. Even Ubers, I'm a little bit surprised that he didn't yes. decide to go for an, an off class go for a little bit of a cheeky play. But we may still see that come at some point here where they throw a sack in. Very passive right now for Nefarious. Mm, just definitely. letting role players see what they can do here. So I think we can see this positioning from role players here. We've got Mirumu holding close lobby with the demo and soldier. And we obviously we have a Scandal watching his flank and door one. So it looks like obviously role players opt for the close hold. And now we're just simply seeing trade after trade. And look, I think Spadia could be going for the off class. But Shifter does go down there by John. And... We could, we could be seeing a push here by role players, which looks like it's going to happen here. And we could be seeing the solo on John, and the Uber does get it popped on, popped on John. But can he get anything done? Not quite sure. It does go through choke. Unfortunately, can't get much out of it. And Blue do pop their Uber, which is the better one. And Red do have to fall back here. And that John. was an unfortunate push by role players. I feel like Nefarious really could have capitalized off that better. They've done a good job late getting the kill spade. They're picking off Ray's. Scandal is actually eating a rocket, is in a lot of trouble here. He can be cleaned up. He's on 3 HP. Will, in fact, go down. So now this is looking very good yeah. for Nefarious. They've started to get on this point. The players are condensing in, but they need to find some of these kills here. They are not coming in Nefarious' way this yet. Push the spade falling. Down. And yeah, now Nefarious... with Ben, no scouts, it's over. Nefarious has to pull it out. And the med actually could... Ooh, that was a nice double by Rising there. And actually... Uh, okay, for a second I thought Rising might try to recontest if Med was with him, but unfortunately not. Um, Arnold does get out there quite low, actually, so has to back up, and Shifted does unfortunately go down by Scandal, and that's an unfortunate push by Nefarious there, not be, not able to capitalize off frags, and yeah, couldn't touch a point. A lot of damage, though, on this point. Boy in a lot of trouble as well, with John already going down. Scandal. These players Ooh, are going to have to nice, retreat. Nice arrow by Arnold down to Scandal through door one. And the Ubers again are even, so I think we've got another stalemate situation here. With yeah, full all six, all twelve players will be up for both teams. I mean, all six, my bad, for both teams. And Spade going in, I assume, for a sack. We're not going to. I'm not sure if we're going to see a sniper off class or even a spy. Uh, Mirumu actually going down incredibly low and just surviving. So very ballsy by him. But otherwise, I, we're not going to see much right now. I'd be shocked if there it is. Spade is up on Spy, so we do have the off-class coming in. And we'll see how he elects to play off this one. He's very curious to see if this will work out. Of course, the goal is to drop Miramu here. And he has found his way in behind. So that's half the battle. He's just building up some of his Cloak and Dagger charge. But the fact that he's gotten around them is definitely a good start for him. He is getting set to go in. Not going to find it. Now Bill Banker spades. spots that, that one cool. out. Rest in peace, Spade. Now, we'll see if the counter sack can get through. John is in a lot of trouble. He's not going to get through at all. And that will slow this again down. No sack is going to be coming back in yet for Nefarious. This Vanquish just sitting through trying to find a route in. Gonna think better of it. Spade, though, he's on Sniper. We're gonna see if he can hit one of those lovely headshots. Tear a head off and make this work. Problem is, they're not really obliging him with a peek into lobby. So he's just sitting there quite passive on an angle where no one's walking into. Apologies for being quiet. I'm just currently saying something up. And no worries, my friend. Something. And decent sticky damage coming in there from Moot. But again, he's just playing this... Sticky spam into lobby. They're trying to find Spade a line of sight, but again, no one really obliging. They haven't taken lobby control, so that will be the next step for Nefarious. Can they open up some more space for their sniper to work? He's being spammed out quite heavily, and in fact, he's going to go down to raise his stickies. Not really any window to even have some impact there, so a little sad on that. Boy, though, is going to be coming forward back on the counter sack. He's actually gotten quite through but will be piped down by moot had a chance to get in there stayed alive a lot longer than he should but it doesn't really matter does no damage to the medic shifter is also going to be cleaned up there again he was trying to go for a sack so it's just the trading sacks 
until we see something broken. Here comes John out. He gets on the medic, though. He gets the force. That is huge from John. Ben will clean him up in the end, but now they're trying to do something with this Uber, trying to find the forest, and they're not able to. The remaining players from Nefarious are going to have to start to fall away. And they're really just trying to deny anything, see if they can't get this force on Miramu as he's starting to walk out. Bomb from Rising will come in. He's actually just going to get in behind on them as the Ubers come out. He's causing a bit of a distraction in the lobby as Shifta has picked off Ray's. Moob's going to go actually in on this point, try to deny it, gets the kill to Vanquish. The back cap's coming in. Rising's got this. This is a round for Nefarious. Okay, well, I just came back and just saw a back cap. But yeah, congratulations to Nefarious for the first round. That took a little bit longer than expected, but good job to them. Um, we'll be, I think, I'll take this mid now, Dreamboat, if you want me to, or would you like to take go another ahead, mid? my friend. So watching Moop here, obviously, he's got the faster roller. Oh, actually, no, both demos got the same pace, but Ray's opting not to get the pack there. Both demos e exchanging spam across point, and Ray's here now making the move. Moop getting tagged in a little bit, getting arrowed by Miramu there. And we've got Steve first frag there, Shifter going down, and Moop taking down Ray's, and now Vanquish going down as well. I think now we have to see Red probably opting back out. Moop does go down in the process, but role players can't really fight. The Moomoo is already starting to back out with Scandal. Scandal there on very low health, and Miramu should go down, and that was a very quick mid for Blue. Moop has done so much work on all of these mid fights, and just again, a tremendous job by him raining out damage with those stickies. He even, you know, debuffed the scout super early in that mid with a long range sticky, yeah. uh, and he got a quick 2k to start things off. Moop just doing so much work for Nefarious and role players, they need to find a way to negate that at the beginning of these mid fights. Nefari Nef Nef Nefarious now, obviously with the full Uber out here, now probably going to opt to push for door 5 most likely. Spade does take down Boy there, and it looks like the milk in the Uber. Uber does get popped eventually, and this should be just a clean round for Nefari Nefarious. I don't see role players taking this one back. Spade there up in secret, taking people down. Ray should go down there. And that's the second round for Nefarious. One of the many things I love to see in TF2 is sometimes you have that very long first round. Uh, Definitely. It can take, I've seen it go, you know, you have the 25 minute first round. Second round, following a long round, almost always seems to be super fast. And it was there. Very quick 2 0 we have now. And Raze is a lot faster than Moop to this mid fight. Mm. And now with Boy going in deep, he's actually just going to be cleaned up. But they've done a decent job so far of negating some of Noob's damage. They need to start finding him, though, as he's going to start raining these stickies down in. By Shifter's jumping their pack there. Can't get anything done. Getting tagged down incredibly low. Going for the pack and sewer. And Moop, two, already two plays down. Oh, one play down now for uh, role players here. And this mid looks like it's really... Can't really see who's going to come out on top here. But Spade, they're getting tagged down really low. Does take down Scandal there. And Nefarious should have this mid... Role players cannot re-enter and we'll just have to hold second. That was nice. Shifter went for a really nice bomb and he bombed straight into a pipe. <laughs> Exploded in their face. Uh, it was, it, I'll give him a 6 out of 10 for effort, mm. a 2 out of 10 for execution. But yeah, Ubers now here are even and I think we've seen oh! Rising there. Oh, Moop goes. And I think Nefaurus, yeah, they have to give this up. They can't hold close anymore. They have to back up to their side of mid. There was a really nice midi there on that bomb through, but with that, role players are starting to find the remaining players on Nefarious. They're backing him out to choke. Mid is going to be capped. And finally, role players have a chance to mount some offense in this game, something we haven't seen from them. Definitely. We could be seeing that first round, potentially. You never know. But Ubers, again, are still even. And I think looks like ne Nefarious here opting for the close hold while everyone's bottom checked. The Uber does get popped there. And Arnold does also pop on, I believe, that is the soldier, flashing a demo in the process. And Mirumu, nice surf by him, out of choke, but should go down here. Tag down incredibly low, but just gets out with 40 HP. And exit exit through IT and I assume to meet Raze on second. But that was a uh, good push by Nefarious there. Hitting pipes for days. Maybe Moop should change his name to Mop because he's cleaning them up so easily. And now, again, we got that good old-fashioned stalemate. It is an Uber ad this Uber time, though, for Nefarious. So they have an opportunity ads. to move in here. 
Definitely. Obviously, Mirumi wasn't healing for a little bit there because he had to escape. So that gave Blue the full, pretty much full Uber out nearly. And now Blue here are getting their Uber. And I think we could be seeing them potentially push for a choke. We're not sure, but the ad is slowly fading away there. And looks like the soldier's going for a high bomb on Arnold there. And oh, just nearly forces him. But Arnold there surviving with 70 HP. And... Uber's here now, uh, even, and we're just seeing another stalemate. Raze is taking a lot of damage here early on, so they might have had a chance to capitalize on that, though. Arrow, of course, going to negate that. Yeah, definitely. I think but... John here opting to send the Soli. I thought he might off-class a spy, potentially. And here comes like rising, rising in, though. Struggles, getting in can't deep. get anything done, unfortunately. Yeah. Don't Completely deep. mulched. Definitely. And like, it's this is just now probably sack player simulator now, so it's just... Let's just... Sack plays in one by one. Hope we force your bed. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if Rising's going to opt for a uh, off class here. Okay, he's, stay he's staying at Solly. I thought we might be seeing maybe a sniper or spy. But again, it's just. Looks like role plays here are actually holding really close. Yeah, this is just uh, Sack Your Soldier Simulator 2014. <laughs> Even though it's 2018. It's, uh, it's the same old story. In Spain, finding a nice opener on to Vanquish might leave them some room here. Rising once again, going to be bombing forward. Getting a couple of rockets in there. Mirmu is down to 30. If they can just get some damage in towards him, they could have capitalized. In fact, they will be coming back in. Rising with another nice rocket. Gets that force out. And now, John trying to go forward. He eats stickies. Goes sky high. But he's in alone on Arnold. What a surf. But he still has to force this Uber up. They will kill Mirmu though. And that is the saving grace in all of that. Now they just need to keep Arnold alive. They're cleaning up the remaining players there. Moop with the frying pan. And this is surely going to be around for Nefarious. They're going to get this cap on second, being able to start rolling through. There are no heals, so any damage they do is key. They're starting to find it. Soldier goes forward once again, trying to zone this medic off. Shifta has killed Raze. Still a few players left, and a couple more spawns have come in. So this is a little bit awkward now for Nefarious, and I think they should start to fall back that and well moops got scandalous now they may elect to stay in here no they are finally retreating they'll just get this uber up 70 percent already and be able to push right through yeah so well obviously nefarious now have the full uber out here and i think that's what they're going to opt to push for most likely it looks like door five starting to walk in here mirumu still doesn't obviously have the uber and i think we could be seeing a uber might be getting popped maybe yep here we go uber is popped onto the scout cleaning frags and Role players, obviously, med going down. They have no heals, and Nefarious should have the third round in process. Arnold copying a little pipe there, but doesn't matter. They secure the third round, and as 3 0 to Nefarious. So we're gonna. With... Go ahead. Uh, we're gonna watch. I'm gonna watch Moop here for the mid rollout again. Because he's getting there. Well, actually, no, it's the same pace. I think Moop and Ray's are getting there roughly the same pace here. Moop's in. Same time as Raze. So it looks like we're seeing some equal ex amounts of spam exchange between Moop and Raze here. Moop getting tagged into 70. Does get arrowed by Arnold here. And we're going to be what I'm launching Shifter here now. He's getting tagged down, jumping away. And I haven't seen any frags there. Vanquish does take down Rising and also take down Shifter again with his pistol. They lose the men and Nefarious is mid. This is the first mid role plays I think have won off the start, Dreamboat. Yeah, and I mean, Spade, he went for the Hail Mary there, trying to get the Medic. Ben did too. They get cleaned up. So that is a full wipe on that mid fight. Great job for role players here. So they're going to be able to get second. And now with full Uber ad, they have to be feeling confident. This has to be around for them. Especially with 15 minutes off the clock. Halfway through this game, it's 3-0 already for Nefarious. This is where role players need to show something, Ghost. This is their Definitely. moment. The, role players here have the full Uber ad. And obviously now we can see the off classes here. Ben here opting for the pyro. This is the key thing. If Ben can deny his Uber to a heavy extent, then I think Nefarious have a chance on possibly pushing out. And Uber does get popped here, and Ben can't do much against the scout due to you can't reflect bullets, unfortunately, in this game. And we could be seeing the first round here by role plays, maybe. Okay, as I say that. Yeah, I think we see the first round. It's only Arnold and Solly left, and 3-1. So the first round taken to role players. Yeah, really great job of them collapsing as they push through there. And now, again, I, I feel like I just have to watch Moop on these rollouts because he's getting there with a little bit more pace, a little bit more focus. 
Again, he's going to be raised by quite a bit. Start to zone him off, and now it's just a matter of what he can do with this damage. He's looking around, throwing a few pipes through. Not really connecting too much. And now the bomb's starting to come forth. And Vanquish has fallen boy down as well. John in a lot of trouble. He's at very low health. And he will be cleaned up too. So a huge response from Nefarious. Not dropping a single player in this mid fight. And they're pursuing all the way through. They want the rest of these kills. But with Ben eating a pipe loop as well. They're both going to fall to Scandalous in a raise. Shifter though. Miramu is so lit. He's 26 HP. Can Shifter find this one? No, he'll be cleaned up. They should still be able to grab second here. Maybe not though, Nefarious. I think they're going to be content sitting back on mid. Yeah, that that play by Shifter. If he caught their med out, then yeah, this, this would have changed it. But Miram is surviving on 30 HP, I believe it was. Just one rocket away from potentially going down. But again, now we're seeing the Ubers even out here. And I think we could possibly start seeing Saxia raise. Extending a bit in choke here, opting for a close hold. And rising again, cl holding close. Yeah, no, it's just right now, just stalemate. Boy, you actually could go down here. Just gets a pack, so very close. Spadia tagged down to 70. Obviously opting to retreat to get some HP. Getting an arrow by Arnold. And I can't really see much or talk much right now. It's just stalemate. And I think Shifty is actually now starting for a sack. Potentially taking on Vanquish. Vanquish getting tagged down incredibly low. And I think Shift is going oh, to continue with spam! His Vanquish does go down by rising and shift to try and go for play, but it does get taken down and that was a one for one trade for both sides. Greenboat? Oh man, that spam rocket from a cross choke from rising. I really didn't think Van I thought Vanquish had just slithered his way out. Definitely. But I'm sorry, just the air and spam rocket finding that kill. Uh, that feels bad for Vanquish. And I mean, we'll just be setting up for another sack to be coming forth at some point here. Shift this starts to make his way in through their choke, moving up towards his choke. Should be buffed in and should make his majestic way flying through one of these areas. The problem is in choke, there is a ton of stickies right now. His raise is still playing very close. So they're actually aggressing through flank right now, putting a lot of pressure there. The two scouts are, and that's a lot of shifter to get in through choke and does a lot of damage to the point he forces the Uber. So now with full Uber and a various ghost, they're gonna start to flood through this choke point. Can they convert? Yeah, Nefarious don't need to use here. They're getting the frags, the kills they need. And they should comfortably get second. Mirumu doesn't go down, but obviously not does not have the Uber ad here. And I think Oh, okay, so we're second they're gonna hold really close. Never mind. Mirumu Mirumu does go down to moot there, and the Uber does get popped. And yeah, I think this should be a fourth round for um N Nefarious here. Um no heals, players still need to spawn up. Rising does get caught out there. John does take him down, and actually, we could be seeing, yeah, Nefarious opt to back out here, obviously losing too many plays, and Arnold going down incredibly to 60, and Roll oh. players managed to hold on, yeah, hold on to their last point, and Ray's there sticking up last, so they don't get a back cap, which happened in round one. There was a nice midi there from Shifter, uh, Boy just getting absolutely slaughtered. With that, I mean, the good news is because Arnold got out, because they killed Miramu, they do have a very slight uber advantage. Uh, now a scandal is falling. They may elect to try and capitalize off that, although they do drop ship nice. this, so that will be negated. Uber. Blue do have the uber out here, but red are actually slowly closing on it. Spadia. Oh, I'd always got to get a point. That was a fake call by Miramu there, and Arnold, and I believe that is... It's Ben going in, and Miru does just get the Uber there, and obviously Red here do have the better Uber, and Nefer Neforius have to back out there. They can't get any frags, or haven't done anything with that Uber, in all honesty, because obviously Miru had that Uber just in time. But again, they're still finding some of these kills here. Spade with a nice shot onto Vanquish. With even Ubers, they're trying to go in off Uber, and they've done so much damage. Boy's in a lot of trouble as well. Spade's still fighting this out as he got an arrow. He should be able to clean oh, Scandalous up as well. No, he wins that duel. But the thing is, it doesn't really matter. There's only two players left. It's John and Scandalous. Their health is so low. They're going to be cleaned up. Boop with the pipe. And a fourth round for Nefarious. Definitely. That push by Nefarious for the last one uh, when they had the Uber. Well, when they lost the Uber, obviously. Spade and I believe Ben managed to actually get two frags, which allowed them to push back into uh, last from my sword dream boat.
but I'm correct. And now Ray's, look at this, mate, he's so much faster. But he's gonna get punished for this one. He's just gonna crater. Shifter with a great read, knowing that he's gone fast on a few of these mids. Finds the free kill, and Shifter will in fact live as well. Which is massive, especially now that Moop, the only demo man here, churning out damage, manages to pick Vanquish. But Scandalous will pick Arnold, which is a very late frag in a mid that was surely gonna be won by Nefarious. The med pick with Miramu getting out is massive for role players. Definitely. Obviously, Nef Nefarious now lose their, losing that full Uber ad, actually. Um, but I think Ben, yeah, he's going to go pick up Arnold with now role players having the full Uber ad and can comfortably sit on second and just hold. They can now do close hold. And second does get capped, so obviously now they have to back towards last here. Miramu should. Yeah, there we go. Miramu just gets it and. They can't use this uber offensively, and if they do, they'll need to leave one at last, so probably use it defensively from what I can tell. I think we could be actually seeing a push here by role players. Uber does get popped here. Flashing Vanquish might catch out Spade here. Spade should go... Spade doesn't... Spade doesn't actually go down, I think. Yeah, yeah Spade, Spade is still alive, alive. and Raze actually fell. He went towards Choke to try and force that uber out, couldn't do it. And now John getting caught out. They're selling out for this medic. That's not the right play here, though, because they are just getting absolutely slaughtered. Sure, they find Spade, but at what cost? They drop three players. They don't force that Uber out. And now this could well be a fifth round for Nefarious. They should be able to just flood through here and Definitely bully Uber them into does this. Get pooped. Uber does get popped onto uh, the soldier there, and they can't really do much. Two plays, both play. Oh, what's it called? One on one trade for both Nefarious and role players. But otherwise, it actually looks like just now really stale matey. Uh, last push here, and Miramu does get sold, but does get taken down. And this should be the fifth round for the Nefarious here, with only demo do can't do much. And Arnold with the final saw kill on the demo, and that's a score 5 1. Keep in mind, this is win difference, so if Nefarious win one more, 6 1, it's over. Keep that in mind. I thought surely when Miramu got that saw that he got up to 76%, that surely he was going to get that Uber. Definitely. Not meant to be. And now Ray's again coming in faster, hits the early sticky, but his health isn't great. Boy tried to collapse. No demo to be found there. So a solid effort. But here's the thing Shift has just walked around the corner, jumps on Ray's, finds that free kill. Nefarious do such a good job of picking Ray's in most of these mid fights. Ooh, they need to keep their med alive here. Rising got tagged down there really hurt low, and I don't think she thought the Soli might get the air shot on him, but Miramu just getting out with 24 health, and should be able to meet up with Scandal, and uh, yeah, they're just going to run away, and Ben, they're going for the chase, same with Arnold and uh, Demo, and I think, yeah, they just go back to cap mid. Ray's might actually come further out, in fact, he has been just enough to scare Ben away. I actually would have liked to see Ben kind of stay on second, not let Ray's get that much space. But they are re-aggressing it again, so our role players are starting to space them out. We're going to see this fight come in here any moment as Miro well, moves up to 100% Uber. We could be seeing the Ubers pop here, because it could be an exchange. Uber does get popped into Vanquish here, keeping on him, trying to go and see if he can get the med. med. Arnold does pop their Uber, and they do have the better Uber, so I think the role players here now need to opt to get out which they are doing so with Mirumu exiting through door two, back onto last and opting for a close lobby hold with Raze. Oh, boy, he's in behind, but he's been spotted out. He shouldn't get this kill. Spade in a bit of trouble, but we'll survive Moop getting the sticky on the ground for him. Uh, and that's unfortunate. It did buy time, though, because that means the Scandalous and John both have spawned. And they have a pick on boy, so it looks like the Ferris are going to start moving in here, start to run in through this right-hand side. Spade in a lot of trouble, though. He's going to get caught again in this fight. Scandalous will, be, will fall the other way. Shift up behind. Could cause some damage here as these players are starting to be pinched. Both these soldiers are up behind for Nefarious, but Boy kills both of them. Now it's a three-on-three -three fight here. Boy is quite low. Gets an Ooh, arrow, but the demo Ray is coming in. Finds one. There's still a scout on this point, and the demo. It's just Miramu oh. doesn't get the saw. Goes down, and that will be the sixth and final round. 6-1 to Nefarious there. Um, obviously, that was pretty clean by Nefarious there, just dropping one round to role players, but otherwise quite smooth for them, I think. Um, I'm not sure if we have logs yet, or are we going to be doing logs at the end? I'm not entirely sure. 
I but, am on my way to find logs right okay. now. So give me just a wee moment. The second map we'll be going to will be Stank Water and Roger. Roger, Roger. So we are going to Snake Water now. We're just waiting on server to load. Just taking a little bit longer than expected here. But yeah, I'm also going to get the logs up as well on logs.tf. Uh, oh, we're in the server. I unfortunately can't link you logs just because I don't have permissions in That's this fine. mumble. I have managed but to I locate want to the talk logs. about Ben. I want to talk about Ben and Move. Ben's 20 and 9 on Scout. With 21 assists, which is mental. Moop is 27 and 7 on demo. 422 DPM. Jeez, that's... That's fat. That's insane, definitely. You can tell Ben and Spade did actually quite well on the scout with Ben. 20 kills, 9 deaths, and obviously Spade, there were 16 and 18. Both with similar DPM with Spade coming on top. But still, yeah, Moop, 10,000 damage altogether, 422 DPM. Definitely did a lot of that work on mid, especially exchanging that uh, demo spam in the initial fights. Credit where credit's due for Raze as well. I mean, he had 350 Definitely, DPM, yeah. but that's... I'm sorry, when a demo man is 27 and 7 with 420 DPM, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that's the tale of the tape on process. But here's the thing. There were some positives that role players could take away. I think I felt like the biggest problem on their front was that they were dropping their scouts a little bit too much. Uh, and if that's something that they can clean up, having their scouts to live a little bit longer, get a little bit more heals in some of these fights. Um, and their heals weren't even that bad. They were 15 and 14 mm, respectively for Vanquish yeah. and Scandalous. Um, but I, I guess maybe if they pick their engagements a little bit better, if they could live a little bit longer, uh, that would greatly benefit them. Definitely. Um, yeah, so we've seen the Snake Water. This is the final map, so obviously it can either go 2-0 straight to Nefarious, or they can trade 1-1. One, one. It's best, best of two scenario. Um, Dreamboat, what will you be your prediction for uh, Snake Water? I'll do it quick, but with the way the move's playing, I don't see a way this isn't a 5-0 for Nefarious. Oh, I'm just going for the same Nefarious, just quickly get it out of the way. And Got a scoreline? 6-1. <laughs> Alright. So we'll be watching, I'm going to watch Moop here for the first rollout. Okay, my STV is being a bit strange. We're watching Moop here, getting to mid just oh, roughly the same time as Raze there. Now just exchanging some sticky spam to the enemy gamers here. Taking a little bit of spam by Raze and getting beamed by Arnold there. And watching Shifter here going for a bomb. Might actually get the med, does get arrowed, but in there saw with 11 HP. Could, he, could he actually catch up Scandal here, but Scandal does just back away and looks like... Nefarious here opting to leave this mid and actually never mind they're recontesting here. Arnold doesn't know the scouts behind does get taken down. Ben goes down and that is a slightly messy mid, messy, messy mid for role players there, but they get the job done. Oh, and the thing is with how late that Arnold has fallen, that is going to be a comfy little uber advantage there for Miramu. That might turn my prediction very wrong very quickly. Mm. Uh, there is Spade, though. He's on this point, trying to fight Vanquish in with the spam from Rising. He'll find that kill. They've picked off Scandalous as well. And they'll be able to recap second. Deny those forwards. So that's a nice little bit of job done there. 30% add for Miramu. But it looks like Nefarious want to start rolling off of this one. And Ben, he's just going to eat a pipe from Raze and lose his life. Yeah, with that, oh, they're banned down. So I think they're opting to just hold here. But Nefarious, looking... They're going really deep into the saw, and looks like they might offer the push here. And Arnold actually getting tagged down quite low, but managed to regen his health back and get the pack. And yeah, Nefarious now opting to just back and hold on the uh, bridge. Well, we might see them start to move. They do have that Uber. It's going to be faked by Arnold, and that means he is going to get it as well. So yes. the bomb is coming forth from Boy right now, putting some pressure in. It's actually bot space for Scandalous to get on this point. They're just trying to inch these players back from Nefarious whatsoever. Boy, they're taking a ton of damage as a Scandalous. They are going to have to fall back and reset before we see them sack through. Yeah, there's a lot of stickies on the floor there. Um, quite messy. Of, a lot of stickies, yeah, trapping each other off. But I think role plays here are actually holding quite close in lobby. So 
We could be... Oh, Spade actually does go down there, and this is... Yeah, role players look like option to go in, but John Doso does go down, and this... Yeah, they just have to hold in uh, Sora again, quite close with that Uber, so... Potentially we could be seeing an exchange, maybe, from Demo Scout. Thanks, Doc. Yeah, with three down, there's gonna be a lot of space to be grabbed right now for Nefarious. And they want to try and get in nice, some of these forwards if they can force them out. Shift of those is going to eat a pipe very early. He's in a lot of trouble. Pistoling down from Vanquish Ooh. will in fact fall. So that's a lovely pick to open this fight off. And Uber. now with Miramu in, they are going to have this Uber exchange start to come oh, forth. Arnold but haven't got the force demo. yet. Arnold oh, dropped that's demo. dire. That's not good. But Ben there with the Uber can't actually get anything done with it. And have to have to get out there. And that demo... I think Arnold milked it for too long there on the demo, thought he could probably survive one or two more extra hits, but that might just cost him that uh, push. And yeah, definitely did. The Forest here have to opt to back out into Saw. And Arnold there getting tagged on incredibly low, but they do lose Spade and Ben in the process. But yeah, that's just such an unfortunate, I don't know, timing you could say by Arnold or misplay. And now Boy is going to start to jump onto that check, put some pressure in as the players of Nefarious are slowly being inched away. They're going to be regrouping, able to maintain this point. And Spade again, he's getting very aggressive in lower. That has cost him a couple times, so I'm curious to see if he'll get caught again as he seems to like to go on little adventures, little wanders. And unfortunately, he's lost his life on a few of them. He's trying to be a lurker, you could say, trying to take individual duels like, you know, CS, you could do that. Just walk around, don't get detected. But back to the game here, Spade, yeah, just watching the dungeon of um, Blue, and he's just opted to rotate back to a combo here, and I think Ben's playing flank or Spade, I can't really tell, it's confusing. But yeah, Spade here, yeah, back onto the flank, probably telling Ben to stay with combo, and boys there just spamming their, uh, their train and... Nothing much happening. Ubers are even, and looks like a trade's coming through with Ben. It's even getting done on Miramu. Miramu taking the beat from Ben here, actually. Can't actually force out the Uber from Miramu. And that just doesn't go according to plan to Nefarious. And roleplays can just push in here. Shift it here, try and probably find the media. See if you go for a force or even a drop, potentially. And Spain and Mook does go down in the process. Arnold also as well. And Nefarious have actually lost that push when they soloed Ben due to the uh, pistol beef. Yeah, now it's just Shifta uh, left alone in behind. This is... He's going to try and bomb to this point. He actually does some decent damage here to Vanquish. We'll win that kill. That's a nice little job delaying. But the problem is Miramu is already in last with Raze. They're doing a lot of damage. But Moop doing a great job denying this one. Both of these players should go down. Vanquish is here. Or sorry, Scandalous is here as well. He will fall too. So because of that delay coming in from Shifta... The spawns came up, and the rest of role players just got cleaned up so easily. Oh, they're not checking their spot here. Boy, trying to go for a high ball. It does get denied by Miramu. Nice shot by him. I'm not Miramu, by Arnold. So nice shot by him, and does go down. And Nefarious here, able to take second point back. And most likely will go for, yeah, just hold and see what role players' next move is. But they do have 60% Uber ad here, and could probably roll into mid here once they get it. And by the looks of things, they are. Planning to probably go through dungeon. Yeah, that's what they're doing here. Rising here, going for a jump here. Can't get anything done. Spade on top of a on top of point, getting some spam there. And role players just have to back out there. All their players actually can tag down quite low, but Miramu there able to heal them up. That was a really great job by Nefarious, just moving as a unit, zoning down the players on role players. And managing to force them back. That gives them a little bit of time here to push with the super advantage. It is down to 20%, but they might be able to swing this just for two points uh, almost freely. And Scandalous takes very low. Th three Ooh. HP will get out. Boy here trying to deny, but I reckon he'll be cleaned up. He's actually going to get in. He kills Rising there. Interesting. Fall, but again, great job this, with that uber advantage still to grab two points. It's very nice for Nefarious. The Ubers are even here and again, so we're just going to be probably just seeing just equal exchange of spam here. Um, Shifter here might be actually going opting for a uh, underplay, and definitely, yeah, he's trying to go for the med, and doesn't get him, just lands one rocket home, dropping down to 94, but Murumuri survives and just regens back to 150. And they are just going to be waiting, of course, for Shifter to come up. Spawn now, so we will be rejoining his team. 
As they are just kind of exchanging spam from upper lobby rays, eating a couple directs there, gets arrowed by Miramu. Good for everybody's stats. Keep in mind, this is actually really good for maybe a sniper in this kind of situation. We're not sure if we're going to see it out from both teams. I know Ben's quite good on the sniper, so we might be seeing it from him, but I think we could be seeing a sack here again. Definitely, yeah, Ben here trying to catch out Boy. They know he's extremely hard. Does take him down eventually. Miru just sitting on top of here, just arrowing his team. Does drop down on the other side of a the wall there. And again, now it's just equal amounts of spam. Blue, red do lose one, but they should get him back in around six seconds or so. In and oh man, Root oh. goes down to that spam. That is dire with spade falling. Now the players need to start backing up on Nefarious. And we're actually seeing the push forward. The Ubers are exchanged. Even exchanged here just on bridge. As this is really going neither player's way. Uber is going to expire at about the same time. And now we have the MGE fight. And John will be cleaned up. Miramu manages to escape. But now this is signaling go time for the remaining players on Nefarious. Trying to get in. Especially with Vanquish so low. What a sticky from Moop finding that kill. That was a lovely cleanup. Remaining players starting to fall. They're trying to brawl it out. Moop being focused very heavily as he continues to rain in so much damage on this demo. Miramu man. can't do much. Miramu is in trouble. John has spawned. Boy is now up as well, so they should be able to focus these down. But this is just buying time. The spawns are coming out, and they're just getting cleaned up. Miramu is looking for any saws that he can. Needs a few of them. Not going to get any of them. Will be cleaned up, and that is a round for Nefarious. Definitely. That, that MG fight, well, you could say, in uh, Cheese, definitely turned around the push. When role players, obviously, both teams had to exchange Ubers, but they were pretty much even. Um, but yeah, good push by Nefarious, must say. Now into this next mid, Moop is going to be slightly faster than his counterpart, Raze. Hasn't done any damage quite yet. And that's very now some nice stickies in on Raze. Bomb is coming forward, though. Both soldiers looking very good. Boy will be cleaned shift up. John's shift. in a lot of trouble as well. Uh, and now Shift that has come in behind picks off Miramu and the health already being so bad. John in 13. This should be a mid fight here for Nefarious. They just need to keep their meta alive uh, and they're not going to be able to do so. Scandal is getting a nice meat shot in there. Sure they'll win it, but unfortunately Arnold has fallen and that will be a slight ad for Miramu. Definitely, yeah. Nefarious just couldn't keep that meta alive. Just unfortunate, obviously unfortunate there, but they do get the mid. Quite messy, you could say, and shifted definitely with a flank, taking out Murumu early, but however, it is definitely backfired because obviously Murumu now has the Uber add due to him spawning first and Arnold spawning quite later. And this allows the uh, role players now, they're actually able to hold second. And we could be seeing, yeah, Nefarious just have to stop, most likely just hold on mid for a little bit. Spadia and Dungeon actually could get caught out here. Boy, might take him down. He's getting taken incredibly. He does get beamed by Arnold, and he might. He does not, he does just misses the chance to probably take down Boy there. And Spade actually does go down the end to Scandal. And Nefarious have to back out to mid. And again, like, it's something that's been a trend for Nefarious. Spade goes on questionable little wanders, overextends a little bit too much, and gets cleaned up so consistently. Here's the thing though, Raze might get cleaned up there as well. No, great job by John. Uh, loses his life, but keeps his demo alive. And now I think they'll be able to pick off shift this. So not much can be capitalized on right now for Nefarious. I'm well, curious to see if Spade will go on another wander. I think we could be seeing an exchange here. Arnold does pop there. And both Ubers are even. Miramu milking it does pop eventually. And that gives the signals for Nefarious to have to back out there due to their Uber being worse in that situation. But Red actually can't find any frags with that Uber on to raise. And I believe that's the last flash to Vanquish there. And again, now we're just seeing Nefarious holding the Red Saw there. With Sticky's placed in the choke po choke way, and he's just seeing some spam, equal amounts of spam there. We gotta keep on this flank here with Spade. Spade actually going for a massive flank there. Could get, does it get Mir oh, Just miss Miramu's nine HP. Does get the pack, and he's still behind. He actually could catch Miramu here. One shot. Miramu does go down. That could change the title fight here. Spade should go down here to the post scout. Does actually take down Vanquish as well. And that flank by Spade definitely has just won the Furious, that push onto Red Second. Arnold went down though in that fight while we were so focused on Spade's heroics. He will spawn first, so he is going to have a super slight add. But unfortunately, that means that Nefarious can't just roll straight in as they could have before. Definitely. And that's the difference, you know, Spade, he's gone on these questionable flanks, mm. questionable attempts, and he's been cleaned up on most of them. 
the but thing I say most well. because that was the heroist of hero flanks for him. And now with Ray's going down, this should trigger this should trigger go time. Boy going down nefarious. as well. Boy going down as well in that um push there. Scandal, yeah, probably trying his best to deny. Can't actually get much done there. Does like a couple plays on fire, but down to one HP can't actually do much. And I think this is just role plays, yeah, taking the second round of this map on on Snake Water. Yeah. Really well done by them, and again, I mean, it can't be sold enough that hero play by Spade. And then the fact that Ray got caught out, and again, it's something I feel that Moop's done a little bit better than Ray's. It's just been surviving at some of these key times, and unfortunately with Ray's falling, it was very easy for them. And now Ray's, he's got Shifter right up in his face on this mid fight here. Shifter should go down here in the kitchen, definitely. Vanquish also gets tagged down in the process. Moop getting tagged down quite low, does get the pack. And role play is actually getting forced out here. They can't actually recontest. Vanquish very low in grass. And boy, can't really do much. Three health. And yeah, Nefarious get that mid quite easily, actually. However, both meds do survive, which Uber's now pretty much tied even. Now, there is a bit of a contestion coming in from role players trying to force them back. Ben is very hurt. Ben might go down. The Uber's being popped out. He needs a flash in this fight. And this is massive. Miramu still has not popped. John, sure, he went down. So did Ben, though. And now with this Uber ad, they're just being able to scare oh, back the players on Nefarious. Miramu got body shot there. We've got the shift to Sniper actually coming out now. This is the first offcast we're seeing, I think, in the series from what well, I believe, unless there was one process, which I missed. But, yeah, uh, there was a spy play on Spy play, yeah, that's it. But this is the first Sniper um, offcast we see here. And we're going to shift there. He's watching Saw. Let's see if we can get anything done. I'm going to see if we can get anything done with it here. Ray's here opting to push out. The Uber does get popped there, so Shifter can't actually get anything done. Just has to back out. Maybe try and go for a hero play. John does go down there. Spade getting exchanged out. And Roleplay should comfortably take this uh, mid-fight. Yeah. Yeah, those, la those two players that went down at the end there as well, Rising and Shifter, really cost that. Losing Spade wasn't ideal, but the fact that they dropped three means this is should even be a clean grab of second. Although Arnold, he's up on that Uber, and he's Uber. willing to take this exchange out. They're trying to get in. Boy, should be cleaned up. In fact, he will, but that's all they get with this Uber. So now the Leapfrog for Miramu is in full effect. He has about 40 add. We'll get that does, up, and they'll be able yeah. to push them right out of second. The Ferris are actually getting fairly aggressive on the backs of this, though. Spade, he's very deep in behind again. Oh, and Miramu, he's so low. Shifter will fall. But where did Spade go in behind? Oh, he got cut out in the lower. And in fact, three players fell here. That was actually fairly smart by Nefarious, though, realizing the dire consequences that they were in and selling out to try and get in off Uber. But a huge air pipe from Ray's getting the pick onto Arnold. That's a full wipe. Cap's going to come in. And this will be a round for role players unless Shift and Rising can go absolutely massive. I don't, yeah. Rising, there, yeah, tagged down 26 and role players do get the map, uh, the round, my bad. And it is 2-1 to role players. And definitely, yeah, that play by Ray's onto Arnold definitely got them the point, obviously. But obviously, I didn't see much of it because I had to fix some microphone issues. But yeah, watching this bin now, we're seeing Ray's here taking the dungeon pack and walking up from dungeon, getting some spam across to Saw, and walking across mid here, trying to uh, take down Moop. Moop does get the beam here, and I'm going to focus my point to his Shifter. I think Shifter is waiting for probably a timing here with Rising going for a play, most likely. Rising does go down, and Shifter might actually get taken down in the progress here. does get taken down. Is two plays down for each team here, so it's 4v4 right now. Three down for role plays here, and the role plays actually have to back out here. They can't actually do much here. Right? Vanquish does get taken down, and Murumu should, shouldn't be able to live there, and unfortunately 85% Uber, if he did get that one sort, might be able to live for a little bit longer and regroup with his team, but otherwise, Nefarious do comfortably get that mid and second point. And they are going to have Spade retreat just to get the cap up, but the fact that Ray's fell so late there is also massive. Yes, it's taking them a while to cap mid, but they'll also be able to get second here any moment now. And with that full Uber ad in the hands of Arnold, this surely is going to be around for 
nefarious. Scan here with the sentry. I'm not sure if we can get actually a level. He might actually be able to just get a level two up in time. There we go, level two. Not sure about level three. And as you see, nefarious here opting for the under push. And I don't think I've actually seen a sentry. And Uber does get popped here. They need to kill that sentry quickly. I'm not getting denied by the sentry. Moop do does take down the sentry there. And this push by nefarious is going away and way in their favor. And yeah, role players can't do much here. No heals. Scandal the only one with 60 HP and Nefarious get the third round on Snake Water. The hero re-engagement from Rising there late in that found in that fight, sorry, found a lovely 2k managing to get you know a couple of really nice kills picked off. I believe a soldier in the medic. Uh, and that really just kind of zoned out the field. He's done so well, and I'm curious to see what he's gonna do on this mid here, Ghost. Definitely. Um, we're watching here. I'm gonna watch here now. I actually want shift there. He's going for the uh, spade journey flank here, and I think he just gets does get spotted by uh, the scout there, and does get the nine. Can't get any done with that, and that that might cost them the round. Maybe not. Vanquish again, tag down really low. Does get the arrow, and the soldier still behind in saw does get taken down, and I think Nefarious have to might back out there. Arnold going in for the saw can't get much done, and will get. Actually, will, he's still alive. So Arnold still... Okay, Arnold does go down there. For a second, I thought he might live for a little bit longer, but unfortunately not. 16 second respawn time on him. They're going to have second fully capped by the time that he spawns, and that could be devastating. Shifta needs a hero play. Not able to find it. Miramu actually with the arrow going to find that kill. And now, surely, this is going to be around the other way. Role players trying to keep this game close. There is 10 minutes left in it. It's a 3-1 score right now for Nefarious. Role players need this round, and they've dropped Boy early. Here we go. The off-classes are here. Spade on to the uh, NG. Might, might be actually able to get level 3 up and Ben on the heavy here. So we're going to see how this works. And I think role players are opting for the under push here. And here we go. Let's see if we can get anything done. Vanquish and uh, Scandal leading the way. Does get the sentry actually denying them. And the sentry actually isn't going down. And that's a big thing. And Sentry could actually change the title of his, his last push here. Muru getting down there incredibly low here. He's one shot away from potentially losing his life, which will most likely happen here. Muru can't actually do much there, holding his minigun out, and the push unfortunately doesn't go the way of role players. And the fur is able to hold on to their last point, denying role players with a second point. And there, if there's anything that role players can take solace in, it's the fact that they did manage to pick Arnold late in that fight, so the Ubers are going to be evened up. Gives them a small window of hope. A little glimmer of hope. And they're going to be hanging on to mid for the time being. Uber's relatively even here by looks of things. Um, yeah, we... Yeah, it's just going to be now just simple stalemate. Probably exchanging on spam, spam, most likely. Um... Could be seeing, we could see a sack maybe, or even Spade going for his uh, wonder, wonder play. You could say just lurk around and go for a massive flank. But Ray's again getting incredibly low. Ray's walking, that was really risky by him, but managed to get out of that with 25, but then getting arrowed here. And we could be seeing potentially maybe a play by Shifter, or could be a, possibly maybe an exchange. We're not entirely sure. Both teams are holding quite, quite close here due to they do have the Uber. Yeah, and not going to see much here. Boy here, looks like going for play, does take down Rising, and might lose his life as a result. Does get down to 25 and just manages to get out of here. Spade does clean up, and it's a one-for-one -one trade for both sides. The Uber, though, it's popped off here onto John, getting up in his face, will force Arnold. But now, I mean, that's he will fall. Spade got picked off in that engagement as well. But Scandal is he's in all kinds of trouble in lower, so this is going to favor... Right now, Nefarious giving them a window to start moving forward into this mid fight, and that's exactly what they're doing. Moops trying to go deep, gets denied out by the scout. Very nice job there by Vanquish, but it will still be mid going the way of Nefarious as they try and convert this round into their fourth of the game. Definitely. However, the you can look at the both meds here. Uber actually isn't that is actually quite it's quite even for both sides with Muru only having seven or eight percent add here, roughly. But now losing it there, maybe to a 2 or 3% here. This so race actually does go down there by Rising. Getting tagged down quite low here. And John again getting tagged down quite low. But looks like they're opting for the close hold here, as they will get that Uber potentially soon. But Nefora is going for the push here. 
role plays do lose too, and they have to back to last here and prepare for the last hold. However, they do have that Uber charge, which will definitely assist them. And again, Ubers are now just tied even. I'm curious to see if speed comes up in off class, like sniper or something. Uh, but again, it's actually going to be quite a bit of aggression coming forward here. Raze is going to hit a nice pipe onto Ben. That means there are no scouts on the field. Nefarious falling off of this push quite wisely. And maybe we'll see Ben come up on that off class. Definitely. There was a one for one trade between Ben and Scandal. And there we go. The Ben sniper has come up. So let's see if we can get anything done here. Usually, I think most snipers will position at the logs or the hut. The logs is a good spot because you only see the head, obviously, and the hut just makes you more exposed. But let's see if Ben can actually get anything done with the sniper here. The main goal is probably even maybe a demo pick or even that med pick, which is crucial. But however, as you can tell, Miru is being safe at hiding up along that wall. And could, ooh, just misses a shot in the demo there. He's going for another pick. Boy does get taken out in the process here. And Ben here, I think he's opting for a wide peak potentially. Ooh, changing his plan. He's opting to rotate, rotate right there. And Vanquish there, taking the deal with the Sniper. And again, Shifter does go down, so another one-for-one one trade. And Shifter, Ben going down here under, and does get cleaned up by Vanquish and Scandal. And the forest, Uber does get popped there. Yeah, while that was happening, we had an exchange come in. Arnold okay. got the better of the exchange. However, they weren't really able to do too much off of that one. Definitely. Uh, despite his Uber lasting longer. Now we have Spade taking a duel and lower, and he's being cleaned up once again. Scandalous winning that fight. Rising's in a lot of trouble here as well. They may drop two players here trying Rising. to hold second, but Rising gets out on four HP. Just oh, gets out. baby. He does have life insurance, I can tell you that. Just gets out with four HP. Does get the arrow, though, in the end. And again, now it's just another stalemate. I can see um, Miru, not Miru, Mirumu does have Ad here with his Uber. However, it is slowly closing due to Arnold just obviously healing plays here and might actually get. But again, there's just another exchange of spam, spam by both sides. And we haven't seen any other off class yet besides that sniper from Ben. We might, I'm hoping we might see one from role players, but looks like we're not seeing it for now. It's a bit of a bait trying to come in here. Spade trying to, uh, sorry, I should say shift to trying to bait for a spade. Spade pops the trap a little bit too early and now he's being caught as boy oh, will trade out, but he trades a soldier for a scout, which is everything that you could possibly want as a roamer. Yeah, both teams just lose one for one. So it was actually a pretty good trade for both sides. At least they only lose more than one. And roleplay is looking to opt to get really close to Vanquish I think he's getting separated there. And it could actually go down here. He's tagged to 10 and does get taken down. And Roleplay is now down one, and Shifter also could potentially lose his life there. He is also one shot, but managed to just get out four health, and does get the pack there. And, yeah, again, just chipped away, getting tagged onto 19 HP. And Boy also goes down, and so Roleplay is now down by two, and I think the Furries here opting to potentially push, the, but they do take right hand control, and yeah, definitely the push is coming out here. Arnold keeping beam onto Ben here, and the Uber will get popped on. To Ben and looks like flashing and flashing move into it and the forest do have the better uber here however frags wise I don't see much happening Ben does take down John there we go the first rack going out shifter does go down in the progress and now it's a two foot uh, the forest losing three and Miru Arnold actually and okay I don't know what just happened there but the forest get the round with a very messy fight and looks like role plays did forget last is an objective yeah, and it doesn't help that Ben was just hitting meat shot on meat shot on meat shot. And we'll see if he can continue that form through this mid fight. Demo starting to jump through, and it will be move getting there once again a little bit faster than Ray's. Kind of the opposite of process where Ray's seemed to be the faster of the two. And now we have Ryzen going deep. He's going to be cleaned up. That's the opening pick. Shift is down as well. Uh, they did manage to trade out onto the demo. Uh, and now with John going down, it's a 4v4 fight. I believe that they're aware that Boy is in behind, so these scouts need to start winning these 1v1s. But Spade and Ben are both so hurt, and Boy on the flank will finally strike. Hitting some nice rockets, starting to force these players back, and the remaining two players should be able to force them back. But Moop, he's connecting pipes. He's doing all kinds of work in Spade now with the beam. It's going to be Moop, what am I saying? Hitting another pipe, killing another scout, and it will be a mid-fight win for Nefarious. It is a thing now. We're seeing actually something different. Ray's has opted for the loose cannon instead of the, the uh, grenade launcher here. So we're going to see some interesting things. For, people, for those people who don't know, the loose cannon on the direct does apply a knockback effect from what I understand. Some 
really annoying effect that people do not like here. But anyway, back to the point on the game. Ubers are getting popped here. Arnold does pop the Uber to save Moop there. And Murumu able to milk his for a little bit longer. And I assume he will most likely use here. And actually doesn't use, so that's good by them. But Spade here going in for the flank. And I think role plays don't know about this. I think he's going to go for the back cap play by looks of things here. And... Spadia going for the back cap, and I think, yeah, definitely Rising, and Rising is going to try stop it, but, yeah, roleplays do find about the back cap and does take him down, and with two Spade minutes... both of them, though! Oh, okay. Spade does clean up two, but with two minutes left, we have going to have to see some sparse plays. Two minutes is plenty of time, but if he constantly keeps down and it out, it does start, you do lose that time advantage, obviously, to potentially gain another round. Yeah, we are inching our way closer to garbage time. It's not completely done yet, but there's not a lot of time left in this map. Two minutes left on the clock, and you know that role players want to take a round right now. They need to start moving fast. They have that Uber advantage. And they're starting to dwindle, but they are getting set to go through. Uber's popped out right now, jumping through. Will they get in? The Heavy is on the point. Ben, he's doing a lot of work. Can they clean him up, though? Eating another arrow. He's still alive. This Heavy is just raining in death, raining in bullets, and this will be a stunted push. Sure, Ray's got moot, but that's a small consolation prize. Definitely, there's only a minute 20 left here, and I think we could be, we are getting close to uh, dead time in a way, with Blue having the full Uber out here, and could just push out and take second if I really wanted to here. A minute and six seconds left now, and I think we might be seeing the push from the first. Oh, I think he's just going to play the, uh, let's just hold last and just play for time, I think, because they're, they got the lead and they don't need to do much here. Definitely, I think that's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah this we... is the right play. 45 seconds left. It will be a 4-1 for Nefarious. I mean, there's still a chance it could be a 4-2 if they just manage to cap out here. Definitely, and I, yeah, Nefarious just going to go push out with the full Uber. Uber does get popped here. Spade on the Sniper, obviously, now it's dead time. Roleplay is losing three in the progress, and with only 23 seconds left, I don't see roleplays possibly pushing even to do anything. And Nefarious most likely won't be able to get one last point, and here we go. Boy going for a high play, and yeah, now it's just dead time. Scandal on the sniper. And yeah, just comfortable 4-1 victory to Nefarious, taking this series 2-0, taking both maps. And I think that's GG to Nefarious. Good start for the uh, first round of play. Yeah, and I mean, if you combine the scoreline, it actually is something that could happen in a two-map set in North America at 10-2. to 2, Because, of course, the first map went 6-1 on win difference. So I think they're going to be very happy with the way that they came out here playing. And again, if Moop is going to continue to do what he just did to other teams... It is dire, dire straits oh. for whoever else is trying to play. I've opened up the logs here, and we're going to see something. Something move again. Ten thousand DPM, roughly. Ten thousand and three hundred sixty-one. Ten thousand damage. You mean not ten thousand DPM? Yeah, I was say, yeah, ten thousand damage. Impressive. My bad. Three hundred sixty-one damage, but again, three hundred sixty-one DPM. But rising eleven thousand with three hundred ninety-three DPM. So a lot of damage by those two done, and. Regarding heals wise, Miramu and Arnold, roughly the same amount of heals for all the players. But otherwise, yeah, very comfortable um, game by Nefarious. Yeah. And if you look at the other side, Ray's 10,000 damage with 367 DP. And he, I think, in my opinion, was one of the standout players for uh, Nefer for role players on the second map here. But otherwise, very comfortable win for Nefarious. Um, un unfortunate for role players, but obviously. Congratulations, just commiserations to them, obviously. Able to take, I think, one round away from each map. But otherwise, yeah, good job to Nefarious. And I am not certain about interviews, but um, from what I understand, might not we be We are not for doing tonight. them, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, n the difference was, is even though Ray's did more damage, dropped 367 DPM versus Moop's 361, the fact that he died 15 times, Moop only died 8 times, speaks volumes. Definitely. Don't get me wrong, Ray's had a really good game, but I feel like he just wasn't being kept alive enough. And, I mean, Moop, I mean, he was 21, 19, and 8. Mm. Talk about 
pounding. He did 420 DPM on the first map, and that is just enough that's going to take over an entire series. I'm curious to see if he can continue his form through the remaining weeks. Uh, but that's all I really have to say on this one, Ghost. I think uh, it's Definitely ready to be fire. wrapped up. Don't have anything uh, to add, but yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we're doing shout outs for us or nah? No shout outs. Absolutely. Drop some shout outs here, Ghost. I just want to shout out first off. Congratulations, Catfish, actually, for um, getting League Direct down and also running his first season of Oz Fortress Season 23. And also, congratulations to both teams for playing today. Nefarious, obviously, taking the W commiserations to role players, but otherwise, I think those are my shout outs. And shout out to Atten and his friends. All right. And I will, of course. Gotta give a shout out to you, Ghost. Thank you for co casting. No problem. It's an absolute pleasure. Oh, and shout uh, out to Matt, you, shout out to... I forgot as well. Oh, you know. And our producers, Thanks, Left and Mitch. Yes, absolutely. Shout out to Left doing the in game camera work. Mitch just helping him out where needed with some of the graphic stuff. Uh, making sure that this is, as always, an incredibly smooth ship here on Capping TV. Don't forget to stay tuned because we will have more. TF2 coming down the pipe along with Counter-Strike and some other games as well. Um, I have a couple shout-outs to do. I have to give a shout-out to all the crew at Defy Gaming. be casting their Counter-Strike match later this week. Uh, and shout-out to Apollo Rising, uh, the lads in that Discord. Um, but for all of us here at Capping TV, I've been Dreamboat, joined by Ghost with Left On Production. Have a great evening. Drive safe. Catch up.